Good morning, Golf High. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. I'm Kathleen Chanelli. And I'm Kira Lamoff, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is altruism, which means unselfish concern for the welfare of others. Could you use that in a sentence, Kira? I sure can, Catherine. Alta, a model of altruism, gave her movie ticket to someone who needed it more. For lunch today, we will be having PB&J, Southwest Chicken Baguette, hamburger, cheeseburger, and salad bar. And now for today's weather forecast. For today's weather, we have a high of 84 and a low of 65 with a 0% chance of rain. Enjoy the weather box. Today in history. In 1564, William Shakespeare was born. He also died on this day in 1616. And in 1961, Judy Garland played Carnegie Hall. And that's today's history. Here's some news box. Wi-Fi Finder Android app exposes home Wi-Fi passwords. Student accused of robbing Apple stores sues for $1 billion. Here's the riddle of the day. I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. And here's an announcement from Mr. Concilio and Mr. Lopez regarding attendance. Good morning, Bucks. I'm Mr. Concilio. And I'm Mr. Lopez. And we're here to tell you who won the March attendance uh, program that we're running. Now, remember, last time I checked, freshmen, sophomore, and juniors were all tied with two wins each. We are coming down to the final little run, and for March, it was the freshmen. Good job, freshmen. You are now one ahead. Keep that lead. Don't lose it to somebody else. Other ones, you can tie at least. Now, remember, <clears throat> this is not for perfect attendance. We allow you to have one unexcused absence. So make sure you're turning your notes. Turn your notes into the front office or turn them online, but make sure you're turning your notes in. That is a key thing. So remember, the winners get a, uh, the ticket that allows them to get one dessert at the um, cafeteria, and I believe it also gives them one item for McDonald's as mm -hmm. well. So this is what you are trying to make sure that you protect your accountability with. You do not want to get disqualified because if you get disqualified, you're out of the running. So sad. But this is what you're wanting to try to win. We are giving away eight of these. And that means you have a chance if you have not been disqualified. So without further ado, our winners for this month was... Congratulations to the following freshmen. Rainier Daldavega, Vincent Graziano, Sandra Mampili, Triana Snyder, Jason Vitali. Caitlin Zermino, Alan uh, Algic, Madison Anderson, Shelby Stipp, and Wesley Thiel. Congratulations, you guys. I'll be seeing you on uh, next Monday to bring you your prizes. And your names will now be in the hat for the big prize. That's today. Oh. Today is Monday. Oh. You need to be out there right now. Wait, what am I saying? All right, I got to hurry. All right, have a good day, Bucks. <laughs> Prom tickets are now on sale during both lunches. Tickets are $80. Pick up a permission slip and guest form if needed from the front office. Permission slips must be signed prior to purchasing your ticket. You must be eligible to attend, which includes being off the no-go list. The first 2019-2020 GHS yearbook meeting will take place this Thursday, April 25th in room 251 at 2 p.m. All students interested in learning what being a member of the yearbook entails and or the requirements for joining the GHS yearbook staff should attend. The current yearbook staff will also be on hand to answer any questions. Please see Ms. Evans in room 251 for any questions. The last day of prom ticket sales is April 30th. In addition to being sold at both lunches, tickets will also be sold after school on April 29th and 30th. Appeal forms are due to the front office no later than this Friday, April 26th. So I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? A joke. For more information, please refer to the scroller. That's all for our news. Have, Have a great, great movie, movie theater, theater day, day, Golf High. Storytelling, it's knowing your punchline, your ending, knowing that everything you're saying from the first sentence to the last is leading to a singular goal. And ideally confirming some truth that deepens our understandings of who we are 
as human beings. We all love stories. We're born for them. It can cross the barriers of time, past, present, and future, and allow us to experience the similarities between ourselves and through others, real and imagined. Frankly, there isn't anyone you couldn't learn to love once you've heard their story. Make me care. Please, emotionally, intellectually, aesthetically, just make me care.